What's up, everybody? And today, we are going to be reacting, but also discussing the Chinese and India border guards clashing at Nepal. Um, that's the video that we're going to watch. I've actually got two videos. I've got them clashing um, at Nepal slash Tibet slash China border and media, Chinese media claims Mount Everest. And then I've got another bit of footage of um, a bit more of a, a, a bigger clash between the two. Now, I wanted to watch this. They're both small videos. One's less than two minutes and one's just over two minutes. They're both smaller videos. And I wanted to watch this because I knew nothing about this clash that constantly happens with China and India. I knew nothing about it until I've started reacting to videos recently. So I wanted to watch some of this stuff and just have a bit more of a knowledge, right? And through watching it, I can see how high the tensions are. I can see what it's all about. And then it also start a dialogue right with you guys in the comments i know i've got a lot of viewers right now are from india and i want to know your views and opinions on the whole situation and what just what you think about it in general okay so i'll put links down below to the original videos and i'll also uh, be expecting to chat to you guys in the comments sounds good while you're down in the comments don't forget to like this video and subscribe because it helps with the algorithm other than that let's shut up oh and check out dreadnought meter in my description little shout out let's check this one out first it's them two clashing this is the one that's called chinese and india border guards clash at nepal slash tibet slash china border and china china media claims mount everest so i just wanted to watch this and talk over it First thing I noticed is these two that are having a relatively civil discussion, not this idiot in the car who's shouting his head off, are speaking in English, which I'm wondering if that's some sort of like um, common ground to speak between the two. Um, this guy's just shouting in the background though, isn't it? This guy's super calm. The Indian military lad, super calm. All these lads here with the phones out. This guy pointing and shouting, what an absolute bell end. Come on, mate. Calm your clam. You know what I mean? I just want to tell you what we will raise. If you are given orders, if we have to hit that point, then we have to hit. We have no other option. Okay. If you have My given some orders, to you have to follow the same I just want order. to tell you one word. Yeah, okay. okay. Tell the two come to go back right now. I go sorry. back right yeah, now. We will go right now. It really is high tension, isn't it? You know, see, we are not here for okay. <laughs> 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 but the point is this guy! This guy needs a slap, doesn't he? Let's be honest. The fact that this Indian lad is completely calm with that guy shouting, good lad. Instead of hitting the vehicle, and that's a big, big loss. Go. Okay. Lots of push to my Again. Go back right now. We are going right now. High tension. Okay, so we've got that video. Uh, we've got another video here that we'll watch as well. But let me just quickly discuss that other video. Um, tensions were incredibly high. It looks like that guy in the court was having a right paddy, wasn't he? He was having a right, uh, sad on about the situation. But I think this just shows how much, like, I wouldn't say ignorant, but how much the British media and American media doesn't touch on this. Like, they should be showing this stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, this should be a priority because this is a very important situation. It's the border between two big countries. Not just big as in, you know, square footage, but big as in powerhouses, right? You're talking number two and number three arguing with each other in the world. US being number one and China and India being two and three kind of mixing, right? They're both probably as powerful as each other. 
So for them to have tensions that high should be on news all the time. Let's check this one out. This one might be a bit more serious. Footage has emerged of a clash between Indian and Chinese soldiers at the dispute Himalayan border between the two countries. Oh yeah, they're really uh, they're doing hitting each other with sticks. Yeah, they are. It comes days after the fist fight broke out in the Ta Tawang sector of the northeast state of Arunachal. I apologize if I get any of this wrong. Bradesh, when Chinese troops allegedly crossed into Indian territory. Pushing the look, China, China love pushing the look, don't they? They love doing that. The unverified footage is said to show a previously unreported brawl that occurred in September 2021, which began circulating when news broke of the latest clash. Jeez. The recent fight in Arun Ar Arunachal, Arunachal Pradesh is the first of its kind since 24 soldiers were killed in a brawl fought with sticks and stones in the Ladakh region in India's northwest in 2020. In 2020. Holy. The tensions are way high. Tell you what, if there's any country that's super like just pushing the look constantly, it's China, in it constantly. We hope India will move in the same direction with us, earnestly implement the important consensus reached by the two leaders. The fa the Chinese are the ones doing it. <sighs> In strict accordance with the spirit of agreement of the protocols that the two sides signed earlier and jointly maintain peace and stability in the China-India border area. China and India share a disputed and poorly democratic democrat democratic I can't talk guys. 3,440 kilometers long border known as the line of actual control. Yeah. So there's a bit of land there that's a bit iffy, isn't it? As often a hive of military activity with China and India both eager to stake their claim to the mountainous region. Yeah. They're both trying to push their flags, that's what they're trying to do. Which is not okay. Tensions occasionally escalate into skirmishes despite frequent attempts to de-escalate by Chinese and Indian officials. Checking it out, having a little cheek peek, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect it to be as aggressive as it is, right? Like, this dispute is obviously a very, very big situation that is getting clouded by the Chinese government as everything is okay. And the Indian government turn around and say, no, it's not okay. The Chinese keep escalating things and keep and brawls keep happening. This should be on mainstream news, I think. I think this is an incredibly important um situation that's going on and i feel like it's something that should be talked about more let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below i'll leave a link to the original videos just let me know your your uh, opinions on it and what you may have experienced or heard about especially a lot of my audience are indian right now and i want to know what your opinions are on this and what your thoughts are i think that would be incredibly important uh, other than that that is it check out dreadnought meter in my description and until next time let's learn more together i enjoy it until next time, I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.